to video you will only see on Local 10, police arresting a woman accused of exploiting an elderly veteran. Uh, prosecutors say that she worked at a homeless shelter, and instead of helping the victim, she stole from him. Local 10's Rosh Shalom, live now in Miami with that exclusive for us today. Rush. Yeah, and prosecutors say this woman is absolutely heartless. Think about it. The victim in this case, 84 years old and homeless, and we are here. She is cuffed. You are looking at exclusive video of Tasha Raymond Stackhouse being cuffed. Let's take a close look at her going into the back of a Miami police cruiser outside the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office. This woman, an ex Camilla's House employee, arrested and charged with the financial exploitation of a homeless 84-year-old veteran. Here is a homeless man. He's an elderly man, and he's a veteran, and he was exploited. Miami-Dade State Attorney Catherine fernandez Rundle says the suspect was able to get the victim's ATM card when it arrived in the mail for him at the Camilla's house. Only a heartless person could really steal from a vulnerable person like this. The state says the suspect made 14 withdrawals. This was money the elderly man was getting from his government benefits. We went to her home this morning. She was taken into custody. And now we just try to seek justice for him. Camilla's House mission is to serve the hungry and the homeless of Miami-Dade County. They provide them with material help, food, housing, medical care, and more. And they release this statement. We are grateful to the office of the Miami-Dade State Attorney for their quick and diligent investigation and subsequent arrest of a former employee after we uncovered and immediately reported what was clearly an effort to defraud an elderly and vulnerable individual under our care. The victim in this case really couldn't speak for himself. It was caught by staff, other staff, the administrators at Camilla's house. Yeah, you saw the woman there in the video. According to prosecutors, she was able to convince this 84-year-old man not only to allow her to have the ATM card, but then to give her the PIN number. And he trusted her. Now she's behind bars facing a number of serious charges. We're live outside the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office. I'm Rosh Lowe, Local 10 News. Okay, thanks a lot there, Rosh. And a lot